Hi, and welcome to Adventures of Senia. <laughs> no makeup. Yes, I know it's that girl. What are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing it. That's it. No makeup. I just do this no makeup thing. Beauty comes from within. Okay. Beauty comes from within. Oh, grrr. yes. Okay. So this is me and my glory. My, if I can only keep 10 palettes. Ah, and I own like about 100. So telling me that I can only keep 10, that was not easy. And there's reasons why I did it. I'm like, wow, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I went through my palettes. I dissected them. I thought about it. Then I thought about what. A per, you know, if I only had these, could I get everything that I wanted from them? So, yeah, I did it. I was like, oh, no, I got 10 palettes. So, we're not going to go in order from, like, my favorite, because some of them I haven't even used like that. But I feel like they would be perfect if this is all I had. So, um, this makes you think, you know, about what you really have. And I challenge you to do it, too. If you can only have 10 palettes from what you already own, guys, which 10 palettes would it be? If you don't have that many and you feel that's overwhelming, if you could only have five palettes, which would it be? So we're going to we're gonna hit this like right now. So one out of 10. And this, like as I'm not doing this in an order. One out of 10. This is mm, one of the ones that I want to keep. This big one. Why, you ask? because of the colors guys there's a little bit of everything in here it's up a purple but there's like this plummy but i if i need the 80s look i feel i got it here because these pops of colors i'm seeing you know this is neon you know and i don't like blue that much so they have that one blue that just that one blue if you think this is like wow but that's all you're gonna get is pops of colors no you can get neutral looks from here this is a neutral that's a neutral this is a beautiful blushing pink and work this for the dark see this is beautiful like there you can really make things happen with this palette the clover palette there you go i really like this there's that one pop of blue there's a nice minty green. There is a nice pop of yellow. We have a purple, pinks. We have the duochromes. We have the light colors. Neutral, yes. Colorful, yes. That black, yes. Okay, this is a perfect palette. Yes, yes. Yeah. This one, if you guys know about this one, of course I was gonna keep this one in my 10. Um, I will tell you another reason. When I did like three looks with this on my own, you know, like to go out, this gives me, boop, this gives me classic, like classy, glamorous, these freaking, let me, okay, I'm going to swatch a few things. These shimmers give me life, believe it or not, especially with this nice, look at this. Like that last one was a little, let me get, all right. See, it has like, it's not too tinted, but it has like this beautiful glitters. When I put it on with glitter glue, it looks freaking amazing. This one, whatever, the ColourPop whatever palette. Can we talk about beautiful? Can we just talk? Can we just talk about this? Like, um, there's pressed glitter in gold. Gold is the perfect pressed glitter. There's a super shock shadow. It is like a white champagne <sighs> and then these berries and these browns just to bring it down bring it down that plum yes 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 the gingerbread extra spicy why did I pick this one because and I haven't used her yet but I picked her because of the fact that she has reds and oranges at the same time let me see if I can bring it this way there you go Love the lights, love the pinks, pinks, and a few neutrals. And then that one blue that I can work with this one and 
this one as a transition and do a gorgeous evening look. I just love what this palette is offering as far as colors. So yep, I have not touched her yet, but I like what she has to offer. And she would be my, like, my wild card palette. You know, it's like, I don't know how she works. She might be a bust. But even on the bust, you can make other looks. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's always going to be that one or two colors that patchy. I, mean, I don't care about powdery. I do care about chalky. But Too Faced is never chalky. Unless it's their holiday collection. <gasps> Did I say that? <laughs> don't buy their holiday collection. That's a waste of money, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'm, I'm down to be schooled. All right. Here's, so I, one, two, three, four, five. That's five. So I got five more to show you. Bang! The Zulu Palette by Julia's. I own this one and the Nubian. The other ones, they're gorgeous. But the way that the colors are all sporadic, it doesn't help me mentally get creative. I get lost. Like, I, I don't want that palette. I wouldn't know what to do with it. That's just, just the way it's set up. I just, I'm not feeling it. But this one, you're like, but girl, how you be feeling this? I'm, let me tell you. So I've done looks with this. My favorite look is this with this and this or this with this as a transition and this. Then I did a whole sunset eye because you got the sunset right here. You got everything, everything for the sunset. So I have like just three looks that I do with this one palette, but I really love it. And I know it doesn't look loved, but trust me, it is loved. It's not powdery either. So it's like what you grab, you grab. And that's what you're going to get. And pigment, the Just Peachy Mattes. Okay? This was my first my first true love. Before Clover came in, this was for one whole year, this was my first true love. And look, this is me. There's like peaches, pinks, reds, browns. Did I ever tell you guys that I'd rather have a brown eyeliner than a black one? Just letting you know. <laughs> okay, I'm being in my cuckoo cell. Yes, Quachinus. Girl, it's on the Is it getting to you? <laughs> All right. So, I love this. This gives me life. It gives me everything. And it smells good. It still smells good. I've had it for like almost on the two-year mark. I love it. The Natasha Denona Go palette yes as you can see she is loved <laughs> very loved and for a girl who doesn't like blues can you see that dip there your girl likes this blue your girl likes this gold your girl likes this gold and this brown I won't use this blue I like the camel yep this is your girl right here look at that look at that look at me I love it. I really love it. I use her. She's my summer palette. Bang. The Huda Retrograde. Now, this is another palette. I haven't used her much. I have played with her. I even bought the dang applicator. I bought the applicator. Huda. It's like, okay, I want to get the best experience out of this. Because she is expensive souls. So we have this right here. I love this. This is a spring palette. But babe, I will play with the greens on the look. But yes, yes. And last but not least, numero a 10. Okay, 10 all around. 10, 10, 10. This baby right here. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership for Bronze Seduction. Number one, she's sexy. Number two, she is sleek and gorgeous. Number three, stop playing. Stop playing. These are my colors. The reds, reds, the pinkies, the brownies. These are my colors. And then these pops of what all right let me show you the three pops of what these three this one this one this one these are pops of what all right pops of what and i 
There you go. I want to do, I want to put Duraline and make these really pop. Like she makes them pop on her um, photo shoots and her pictures. You can make these pop more with Duraline from Inglot. And no, not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> then there's that red. It reminds me of ruby slippers. Like, Dorothy, click your heels and get your ass home. Yes, girl. I'm talking to you. Get your ass home. Click, click, click. Bow. <laughs> when you go with a fluffy brush and less product. Start light and then build it up, okay? Like, and then she's a little difficult. A lot of people don't like Pat McGrath, but she needs special type of fluffy brushes they have to be more dense fluffy brushes i'm talking about jeffree star fluffy brushes like jeffree star morphe those are good brushes for pat i will be doing a video about that all right so these were my 10 if i can keep 10 these are my 10 who the retrograde pat seduction 5 Too faced just peachy mats and i love I, mats you just get a glitter from anywhere but mattes is good for mature lids because of the fact that it doesn't emphasize all the wrinkles. Gingerbread, extra spicy because of the colors. Clover, because of the love that I have for this palette because it's very, very diverse. I always say this is the best palette for anyone to have. You can only have one expensive palette, you know, because they're a little expensive. But if you can only have one, this would be it. I'm just saying. So there we go. Five. Next five is the Natasha Denona Gold, my go-to summer palette. The Zulu by Juvia's My Sunset and the Rose Gold look. Check out my IG. I do have looks using this palette. Then the whatever, the reds, the pops, the super shock, the pressed gold glitter. Can I what more can I say? And if you only have 10, then you can make all these work. You don't have to use just one palette at a time. You can play with it all. The Glitter Storm by Ciate. Because it's so beautiful. It'll keep you busy for a little while. But it's so gorgeous. And it gives you glam looks. And last but not least, the ABH Norvina Volume 3. Why? Because of the pops of color. Give you neon looks, give you neutral looks. It's just beautiful. I just, I really like it. And those were my top 10. What are your top five or 10? Tell me, tell me. I love you guys. Unicorn vibes, unicorn love, and bring it in. Unicorn hugs. Oh my God, I love the hugs, I love the hugs. I love you guys, um, TCYL type thing. Okay, 